Welcome to the Ultimate Warzone 2 Movement Guide. I'm a two-time Call of Duty World Champion with countless hours spent on this game. And movement does exist. Let's begin. The number one movement mechanic that you want to use in Warzone 2 is going to be dolphin diving. Now, dolphin diving is essential to have extremely good movement and will help you get some crazy kills very easily. The reason dolphin diving is really good is for various reasons. One, you can do this. What did I just do there? Well, if you dolphin dive or just dive in very low walls or anything that's low, you can basically cancel the dive animation and move right away. What else does this does? Well, it also resets your attack sprint. So it's a two for one. So normally if you dive, which you don't want to slide. If you dive, you have that delay right before you can move. You have that one second delay. See how it takes a little bit? But if you actually do, do this like on a little ledge or wall, it cancels and it automatically allows you to hit that full tack sprint. This is going to allow you to be a little bit more fluid on the map and hit some nicer movement. But what else does that mean? Well, you're actually able to reset your tack sprint like I mentioned earlier. And resetting your tank sprint is obviously very beneficial because it's going to allow you to sprint a lot faster than you normally would. To show you for an example, if I sprint fully, I'm eventually going to sprint normal. And now I dive and now I'm able to fully sprint again, dive back into the tactical sprint, dive back into the tactical sprint. And the reason this is also be very beneficial, if you're diving and running away from someone, this tax sprint movement, out of, like once you uh, finish the dive and move, is going to be a lot better than you just sprinting normally and being very slow. Easy target. Please don't slide and don't sprint like this. So we are not in Warzone 1. Slide canceling does not exist. Utilize the tactical sprint. Utilize the dolphin. And obviously, it is going to be your favorite movement to escape with. Diving is a lot better than sliding. You're a harder target. And you can just run away so fast around corners. Before we continue, one setting I really recommend you guys to change. Go to controller, go to advance. And this might be different for mouse and key. But invert slide and dive behavior, you want to have this inverted. Basically, it's going to flip sliding and dolphin diving. And then all you have to do is click tap to dive. So make sure you utilize diving very efficiently. And trust me, once you get really good with this and start spamming it, you're gonna notice how good this thing really is and when running away and getting cover make sure you're using this dolphin dive you dive tactical sprint you'll be a much harder target let's move on and that brings me into the best way to engage in gunfights in warzone 2 and that's going to be using your tactical sprint and jump shots to your advantage this is how you're basically going to be cameraing your opponents and engaging if I know a guys around this corner, I'm simply going to tackle sprint out and pre-fire the ADS mid jump like this. And that way I am ready for the gunfight. Sprint to fire and ADSing in this game can be a tad slow. So you definitely want to be able to do that fast. I have this UAV to work with. I'm going to pop it. It's currently rushing me at full speed. So right now I'm going to tackle sprint out and basically get ready for a gunfight and just get ready to camera him. So you see how I'm like, I'm playing very aggro tactical sprinting out, jump shotting. And look at that. He couldn't even react. And it's just easy. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either just tactical sprint in and challenge, but you jump shotting is going to be the number one movement to actually engage in gunfights. Like I said earlier, simply just jumping midair around a corner like this. And you want to use your tactical sprint because it's going to give you more momentum. You're going to fly farther versus if you kind of just hit a regular sprint, which is not going to be the same, you see, versus the distance you can get from a full on tactical sprint. So Apathy, what is the best way to engage? Just for a little recap, jump shot and jump shot around corners like this. He's up top easy so there's actually a very cool and secret movement you can do with vehicles in this game and it basically slingshots you very far and you can engage in gunfights with this so what you want to do is you're going to want to drive really 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 fast and then you're going to want to lean out and as soon as you see the person you're going to want to fly this guy is in front of me but i got to get some distance go fast here dive away you did not expect that one. <laughs> so again, quick tutorial. If you didn't understand, you're going to want to press circle to lean out or whatever your lean out is. And you're going to want to exit the vehicle, aka press square or whatever it is. And when you're going at a high speed, it's going to basically send you flying. Now, this is very hard to trace and react to and can be abused if done correctly. Slingshot. You are lost. So not only is it an insane movement like that, but it can also be used a different way. If you want to launch yourself off a cliff and maybe your car is, for example, damaged, you can also slingshot yourself off the cliff to hit that super distance and allow yourself to glide very far, just like this. Woo -hoo -hoo! And we're out, baby. Now for this new secret technique and the next one, it's called the super jump. 
and it basically is a jump that once you land is going to launch you a lot farther than a regular jump would now this does require some fall damage and you got to be careful but what you want to do as soon as you land is you're going to want to jump and i'm going to demonstrate it very quickly show you guys so you can do this movement with taking damage or without taking damage depending on the height but basically what you want to do is you want to run off the cliff and then you want to jump as soon as you land so for example i'm gonna do it right here boom and you see how it launches me you can do it in a lot of places and it actually can win you some crazy gunfights if done correctly Woo this is also going to allow you to maneuver around the map a little bit faster you know when you're running around jumping on top of buildings and just slinging yourself forward so i'm gonna bait this guy out and here i go hello buddy oh my god oh come back you're dead <laughs> i was sick so no guys under me i'm gonna try to catch him out in the open here hit him with a back jump it's just easy now for the next movement technique we're gonna be circling back to the dive like i mentioned earlier we got more to talk about but it's not gonna be about escaping or reset attack sprint it's gonna be about parachuting and utilizing it in a different way so normally if you were to jump off something and for example if i wanted to jump here and parachute well you see i can't even reach that corner because the parachute takes a second to uh activate and usually depending on the height maybe you don't have the height uh distance yet but if you were to dive shoot you see how i'm able to go here so basically diving and then parachuting right away is going to allow you to one parachute usually farther and two parachute quicker so it's a different little technique that you can use it in different places to help you get the places you normally couldn't and obviously get there a lot faster so usually if i want to go from a to b instead of just jumping off like this and parachuting which will probably wouldn't take me as far instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to get on this ledge and i'm going to dive and then parachute and basically it's gonna allow me to get on top of here where normally i guarantee you i wouldn't be able to do this with a regular shoot but wait there's more just like parachuting to get farther is essential this can also be used as an escape mechanic so instead of just like running down the cliff and hugging this wall and might not be able to open your parachute instead what it's gonna do is dolphin dive give it a second fly 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 then parachute this is gonna allow you to run away quickly escape low and not be able to get a shot out at a shot at easily as easily or even shot out the air as easily and give you the great escape so make sure to use that as well and to put things into perspective this is also very good because there are some parts in the map where you technically can't just glide off right but when you utilize the dive and get that extra distance it allows you to really open up your parachute and be able to move around like this now this can't be used everywhere but there are some places for it and you'll find it you'll be like damn app was right so for the next movement it was very popular in warzone one and you saw players like biffle and others using it and utilizing it and it is op if done correctly so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to lay down and then you're gonna want to jump jump do not prone back up you're gonna want to jump and then ads lay down ads and jump and shoot this is gonna make your character have a really weird hitboxes and it's gonna be very hard to react to if done correctly so i'm gonna let the bot kill me really quick so you guys can see how it looks like and how insane it is the bot's gonna see me laying down here and as you can see on the screen right it looks like i'm jumping all the way up immediately like i'm springing back up on my screen it doesn't necessarily look like that it looks like i'm half jumping but for some reason the game registers as it if you're fully jumping and instantly pops you up so if someone's aiming down at you and all of a sudden you jump up now they gotta aim up very quickly if not they're dead so this is why this movement is really op look at that springing back up immediately amy down lucky missed because of it and last thing we're going to be talking about here is going to be these zip lines because they are different in war zone too these zips you can actually jump off them whenever you want so if i'm zipping up i can just jump off this parachute zip back up if i would like because you can actually grab these mid-air you couldn't do this in war zone one jump off zip up if i want to again so this is really important to understand this mechanics here because it's gonna help you stay alive make plays for example i can do this like oh i'm one shot running away from a guy shooting me in the back on that side of Mazra. then i can simply do this zip up he does not have an angle on me here and he's like wait this guy's down where is this guy and boom i killed this guy looking down for me so this is uh many of the uh, many ways how you can use these zips to your advantage and like i said in more zone one you cannot jump off the zip as easily than you can in this game you can simply just jump off whenever you want and zip back up you can even do that it's a little mantle technique if you did not know 
it's going to be a little bit faster than actually finishing the full zip animation so if you zip like this it takes about a second but if you time it just right and you get off and you jump off in the end whoa i didn't mean to do all that but that can actually work out as well so i'm gonna zip up as soon as i'm close to the end, top i'm gonna jump oh barely made it it's a very tough time and you gotta basically jump in the end you're gonna be able to mantle and one you become also a harder target because you're just mantling they can't really see you if i'm just a big target here standing out in the open oh they see me so that's a couple of cool things to learn about the zip lines which are obviously all over the map and are gonna help you in certain scenarios and situations and keep your movement a flowing i hope you guys enjoyed this movement guide make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content in the future i do stream at twitch.tv apathy so if you want to come by and check me out i'm live every day i'll see you in the next one